one night after it was all gone quiet and there weren't anybody going out. There were three girls of us decided we would go and see what the spook about. It was a lovely moonlight night. So we went from the bottom of Glen May Hill up a little lane to the house. Now, the, the, the roof was only about as high as that off the ground. Uh, you could climb four, up. four feet high. So. You, you could climb up onto the roof easy enough, uh. you know. And it, we got up there. It wasn't so all about. So we went round to the gable. There was a window in the gable of the house. So we listened in there. The three of us were listening in there. And the two women were in the house, Mrs. Irvin and Bobby. And they were thrown what looked like an ordinary tin box. And they were catching it, you know, it was making a big bang. Yeah. Then the other one was thrown it and she was catching it. And another big bang. And laughing, you know. Yeah. Making having their own sort of fun, you know. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway, at all. The next salute, we heard Mrs. Irvin singing Jerusalem the Golden. Yeah. It's a hymn. Yes, I know it. Do you know it? Yeah. Well, it must have been me, I think, that laughed out loud. <laughs> and we heard Murray say, Hush, Mother. There's somebody at the door, there's somebody about. So we three went straight away round, knocked at the door. Yeah. We've come to see the spook. <laughs> oh, he's just been out. Oh, has he? Yes. And me, uh, uh, Willie Quirk's sister was the uh. talker. She said, what was he doing? He was singing Jerusalem the Golden. <laughs> Well, I was sitting up near the fire, so good job I was. And the other two girls were sitting further back. Uh -huh. So we sat there, and we sat. And Mrs. Irvin was sitting in a rocking chair, and she was pushing the rocking chair back mm. and just touching the wall with it. Mm. And she said, there he is. He's uh, about, he's about enough. Yeah. And this was three fools sitting there, you know. <laughs> then a, a, a bit later on, she'd push her foot along the line. Oh, he's still about. Yes, he'll be out any time now. <laughs> well, we sat and we sat. <laughs> and he didn't come. No. So, persuaded Bobby if she go, if she go out, she was with us out. Uh, if if she go out in the porch. Maybe he'll come then, you know. Yes. But she went out, no, nothing at all. So we was there for a good long time. And then we got fed up. We said, well, we better be going home. Mm -hmm. Right. So we set off down the lane. And we were all walking single, because only a little narrow lane, you know, yeah. single. Warm the shape. Did you see her moving her feet? Yes, I did. <laughs> did you see her doing something else? Yes, we did. <laughs> yes. The next loop we heard, good evening. This was Mr. Irving. Oh. He'd heard all the conversations. All oh, right, he was following her, was he? <laughs> he was coming home. Oh, he was coming the other way. He was coming the other way. <laughs> and he must have been hearing all our shouting. Because <laughs> we were shouting to each other, you know, right. all the way down. So that was like... So I said, well, that was proof enough that there was no such a thing. <laughs>